This week's episode saw Ori call on Molly to make him a custom surfboard, emblazoned with the River Boys' infamous Blood and Sand slogan, which the members have emblazoned across their chests. When Alf saw this, he warned Molly to stay away from the boys, and Molly confirmed that he'd be doing just that as soon as the board was completed. Yet the new promo for next week's episodes confirms that Molly will remain in the gang's orbit for some time to come, as they call in a favor. We see Dingo drop around to the farmhouse where Molly is living with landlord Mackenzie, and housemates Tane and new arrival Perry. He hands him a sports bag, ominously padlocked shut, as he tells him, I need you to look after this. Cash currently investigating whether the River Boys were responsible for the death of his predecessor at Mangrove River Police, we can only imagine what's inside. At Salt, Tane tries to get the low down from Molly, but he tells his housemate, you don't want to get involved. When Tane comes home, he asks Molly the same question about the contents, as the pair stare at the dodgy rucksack. Yet he's shocked when he looks over and sees Molly with his hands up, standing next to Dingo. Confusingly, Rose is also part of the sting operation, despite not working for Mangrove River Police. As the cops begin rounding up the boys and Molly is led out by Constable Joe Devlin, Rose is shocked to discover her ex-boyfriend in the fray. What are you doing here? she asks. 